Welcome to the epilogue of Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. So we left off here, and no matter what I can do, I cannot get to the credits. So what I decided to do instead was go here. Now, you're asking yourself, why the hell are you in Millville? Well, I took a little time, and I did some grinding, and I'm going to fight Culex. Now, I did enough grinding to where... Peach ends up healing about 100 with timed damage, or with a timer timed on group hug. So that's level 21. 100 would be level 22, actually. So there's actually a few things you could do here that I didn't actually know about. For one, he has a minor store, and he has some stuff. A lucky jewel, I'm pretty sure, is to do lucky after every battle so you can level up quicker. Uh, mystery egg. Don't know what it does, but the crown jewel here that I did not realize is a metal plate. A metal plate is a frying pan, which actually is Peach's best weapon. So not like we'd be using it much, but just for the sake of if you decide you want to have her have her best weapon. That's what it is. So, and the other thing I did was I changed the feather and the rare scarf. Because if she has the lazy shell armor on, she doesn't really need the rare scarf. Mario needs it more than she does. And I want to keep the amulet on Bowser so that way he keeps his attack up to compensate for the work pants. So, that's kind of the setup I finally decided. Now, I'm going to stay at the end actually here really quick before we hit up what I want to do here. So we're going to stay at the end. Uh, mumbling about music. It's ten coins a night. And it's really cheap. I've been using a lot of fast forwarding to get through the grinding. So I got through grinding two levels in about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes instead of half an hour, which is what it would take. I also redid the Bowser doors so that way, um, so that way I could get both battle rooms uh, and get a little extra experience there. There's Dinah and Might. We'll come to her in a second here. If you go to this guy back here, he sells you fireworks. Which is 500 coins. But by this point in the game, I have so many coins that it doesn't really matter. Um, this is all stuff I was saving for some reason for a smithy battle that I wasn't even playing. Oh, wait. I was saving it for a reason. Okay. So, what we do is we buy the fireworks. Go to her. Yep. So, we take fireworks and we receive a shiny stone. What you do with this is you go back and you head all the way to Monstro Town. Monstro. Nope. Ah, damn it. I don't like Land's End. Never did, never will. Monstro Town! And I know this has been like a three and a half minute setup or so. But here's some other stuff I didn't do. I didn't fight that guy. Oh my gosh, wait. Here, I'll just do this cutscene here. I don't think you fight him right away, but you can fight Jinx and you can get some type of fancy belt. Um, you can get some type of fancy belt if you beat him three times. I can't remember. So the key was up here. It's been sealed. Look, the shiny stone is reacting. Let's save it here. That doesn't mean anything. Seal has been broken. Now, the whole reason I wanted to do this is because uh, Trishin and I have been playing a lot of uh, Final Fantasy games. Final Fantasy VI, and now we're on, as, as the time of this recording, we're on Final Fantasy IV. We're kind of coming to the end of that. And... It's kind of like a Final Fantasy boss. Not only that, but it has the Final Fantasy boss music that I did not realize was Final Fantasy boss music until I played Final Fantasy IV. Uh, you can go check her out. I'd like to challenge your strongest knight. Okay. 
I just want to see what it says. F I. Uh. <laughs> and she just hauls. Okay. Let's do it. Let's see how this works. I don't know if I'm going to beat her. I'm just going to do it one time if I don't beat her. So. Now, a lot of people, the way they do this battle is they use Geno and they use the Geno boost to boost a bunch of stuff. If you happen to have a red essence that you didn't use on the battle previously, you can use that here too. Me! And the reason why this is Final Fantasy IV is because there's crystals. And Final Fantasy IV is based around crystals. It's different theories as to whether or not you attack the crystals or you attack Culex herself. Um, I think if you kill Culex first... The crystals go away, but the crystals are such a pain in the ass, it's probably just wiser to get rid of them first. And kind of the same as actually in the smithy battle, you just get rid of... Oh, I was trying to time it. I'm trying to remember, I think the wind crystal is the weakest, so we'll get rid of... Oh, shit, no, it's not. This, they, they will, it will, the whole thing will just kick your ass. Which is why I like having the Lazy Shell and Peach, so that way, you know, she can live and bring people back. Um, because they go through five attacks. Culex doesn't attack. Um, why is that so protected? Why are we so weak against this? All right, all right, let's, let's, I know I said I'd only do it once. Let's rethink this. Fight Culex. Okay, I'm any manner of all, blah, 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 blah. I still want to use the... I don't know if the Fright Bomb would do anything. I'm just going to attack Culex. I don't remember what to do. Because I... Yeah, I'll just attack Ulex and see what happens. And use Peach to keep everybody alive. Okay. Yeah, this is... Battle from hell. Peach. Peach. Shit. See, I'm level 21, too. And this is still... Bitch fight. Okay. I'm gonna save Mario here first. It's been so long since I've done this battle. You see, even with the lazy shell, she'll uh, heal quite a bit. So, I think if you time it, she'll get in the, uh... Fuck. This is normally what ends up happening with, uh... This battle. Hmm. Still don't know what Shredder does. If you could solo this fight with Peach, you could. It would take forever, but you could potentially do it. Ew. I am very intrigued about something. Okay, 
So after some thinking, I think I want to solo this fight with Mario. We'll see how this works. I'm not sure if it's going to work. But uh, it, it's my LP and why the hell not. <laughs> However, I will use Peach and Bowser as uh, scapegoats here until uh, they can... Oh, until they die. So we're still going to use... I wonder if the Fright Bomb does anything. Okay. That's kind of weak. But... There we go. I didn't... I don't know if you knew this, but you can actually manipulate... Um, I'm, I'm going to heal with Peach, obviously, as long as I can. Um until until she dies but I won't revive her here and she'll actually because she doesn't have the lazy show she'll actually do more um, it's a little less but it's not too much so let's see how this works I don't know You can actually manipulate the items. I was trying to do it, but maybe not. So let's see how this works. The epilogue. Of, since I can't show you the credits, I'll show you this instead. There we go. Check that out. I still have no idea what Shepard does. <laughs> but the thing is, now she can heal everybody up full because she uh, has that ability. Wow, slow down. Good job. Shit. Hmm. What to do, what to do. I went, I bought off screen, I bought some mint mushrooms too, so that way you basically last the entire battle. But I bought a few more just in case. Come on, why is this so slow? Fuck. Hmm. Yep, she's dead. No, she's not dead. What the hell? Nah, she's dead. No. Wow. Okay. So I've leveled up to a decent spot. It's just a matter of now she's dead. There's no way she can't be dead. There's no way. And they're both dead. I'll bring her back if I need the help. But let's... Let's go. Let's go, Mario. Go, go, Mario. Go, go, Mario. Go. Go, Mario. I can almost fast forward through this and still have it be as effective, technically. Because it's basically going to do... Look at this. This is going to take forever. Oh, shit. Bought mid mushrooms. That's that's gonna last as long as she doesn't do Dark Star. Well, or that that'll last me a while. That's weird. That's very very arbitrary. We'll do another mid mushroom here. Okay. 
of lucky that didn't work. Maybe Shredder has something to do with offense and defense switch or something. I don't know. Stat alterations or something like that. Still gonna use the rock candy here. I still got some character colas I can use if necessary. No more rock candies. I'll use that ice bomb to finish that up. This is amazing, isn't it? That lazy shell armor is badass. Oops. Okay. I don't think I bought enough mid mushrooms, quite frankly. Nice. want to be caught with my pants down, so to speak. One more, and then I, I'll use the max. I'm using two hands here. Not a good strategy. No! Controller? God damn it. Baby. Oh, right! After a certain point, their FP will disappear if you go long enough. So then they can't really do anything. The crystals can't do fuck all. Except the music's so awesome, I fast forward into it. It kinda sucks. Still don't get why. And you get 244 experience points. Because that battle is a bitch. Thank you, Brave Knight. Perhaps in another time, in another game, we may have been mortal enemies. Take this. Treasure is a keepsake of our fight, and you get a quartz charm. I can't remember what it does. Just give your here, get the jinx belt. That's probably better. What does the quartz charm do? I know it's an equip. Yeah, at this point in the game, it's not very good, but... Alright! So, that'll take some editing. Um, to ponder that thought. But, we end our Pulex battle. Level 21. We'll still kick your ass, get the lazy shell armor, it'll make life a lot easier. I don't really want to do Jinx or anything else. I mean, there's a whole bunch of other side quest stuff to do. There's Jinx... You can get Great Guy's Casino. Let's let's explore a little bit. Um, you can get Great Guy's Casino, which is off of here to the left. Um, you can do Jinx. You can do more stays at the inn here. Ooh, how many coins do we have? 174. Yeah. We'll just explore a little bit at the end of this. The creepy inn with the dream cushion. It's totally badass. And you want to use the dream cushion. And sometimes with the dream cushion, you can get like items and stuff too. Sometimes it's funny. And I think in one of them, Toad shows up and then gives you like 
a red essence, I think it is. Or something really, really good if you keep doing this, but you need a lot of money to do it. So, and sometimes there'll be little, uh, there'll be little captions afterwards. Let's see, is this, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And this is how you find the casino. Three jumps and a bright card will get you in. No chomps allowed. So, <laughs> so there's a part in Land's End where you can, uh, you can go down different areas and then one of them has, I think the bright card you need, I can't remember where you need the bright card from, but then there's an area with like a chomp and you jump three times underneath it and then there's like a little platform. Um, now when I redid this version, I already showed you the bug game here. Um, that's fun. I didn't redo a lot of the side quest stuff I did. Um, this guy is still up here. Now, I didn't get a whole lot of frog coins, but I can actually got enough to get the Scrooge Ring. Now, what I used to do, um, I used to get the Scrooge Ring and put it on Peach with the Lazy Shell Armor, so that way she could do more healing to compensate for the fact that she does less healing. I don't necessarily, I'm not thrilled with that strategy anymore. And I've just been casually going for frog coins. And with that, um, you can get the experience booster if you need a little help. Uh, what else? What else? I'm trying to think. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you know a lot more about this game than I do. Um, I'm just kind of... Marry more if you... Let me try to remember what this is. If you try to stay in the suite... What is it? There's somewhere where if you stay somewhere and you don't pay... You can be a butler here, but I can't remember what that is necessarily. You can turn into a butler. Um... <laughs> you can turn into a butler and you get some cool stuff. I think a flower tab or jar or something like that. Um, picture guy over here. There's still a little bathroom kid. There you go. Hey, you. <laughs> there you go. Uh... This little kid still has to go to the bathroom. Let me talk to him here. <laughs> so that's what happens after you fix the wedding um, booster tower you can do um, I, that's how you get the, the bright card bright card is a pain in the ass to get luckily there's no more enemies here so I can keep just walk through um, I think oh there is enemies here shit we can own them, but I don't really want to. After you beat Booster, at a certain point, I think, in Booster's tower, we do not want to deal with this shit right now. Plus, I, uh, we'll just run. We can't run! What are you talking about? We're super fast! Whatever. I can't remember where it is. Oh, I never showed this the first time. You can be Retro Mario! And as soon as you try to leave as Retro Mario... I forgot there were still enemies here. Here we go. So there's Knife Guy here. And what he does... What he does is... You can guess which hand the ball is in. And you get a prize. Okay? 
The prizes are shit at first, but if you win this game 100 times, you can get the bright card and then the three chomps and a ball will get, that will get you into the casino. So that's where you get the bright card for the casino. Um, I'll take the shortcut here. So that's that. That's where you get the bright card. Um, there's some extra stuff in Booster's Pass. You can bet here in Mulville with the track you went on. Again, I don't know how much you know or don't know. I'm just kind of sharing the random stuff I remember here. You can bet um, Mulville Mountain. It'll only cost you 10 coins, right? See, let me just save it here so I can get back up. What you can do, you can wager 30 coins to see if you beat two. Um, I'll ex have them explain it. Break the record and you'll get 50 coins. So if you go really slow the first time. <laughs> so if you go really slow the first time and you want to make a couple of coins here, like 50, 100, 150 coins and go just a little bit faster every time and keep track, then you can you can make a decent chunk of money there. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything in Rose Town. I don't think so. I know Tadpole Pond. I never really showed the ending to Chodofsky, I don't think. I didn't do it on this file, though. Oh, shit. Which one is he on, though? Hmm. Hmm, which one's that? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna look I'm gonna look this up off screen and do the three and I'll be right back. Okay, since the internet's genius, somebody already actually um put out all the uh the melodies here. So I'll do them one by one here. Because I can read music, it's a little bit easier. This is the first one. You read a sign around here to get it. Or you talk to the tadpole uh, who is standing the, uh, right by the entrance. And um, he tells you his favorite song. So the first one, you get an alto card. I don't know how quickly. I think if you leave and come back. Yeah, I think if you talk to this guy. Yeah, if you talk to him. It's a Mole Mill Miner song. Me do so do. Yeah! So is Chodovsky back? Yeah, he is. You can talk to that guy, too. Interesting. I didn't realize this. This one you find in Moleville. Oops. Shit. Do, 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 do. So the second one you can find in Moleville from the Miners. It's the Moleville Miner song. Oops. Oops. 
This is actually wrong. There we go. That's better. So there you can find that in a Moleville. And you get different cards that will unlock different things that you can buy. Um, yeah. So the first and second one you can get from him and he'll give you the actual soulfish syllables. Um, So the juice bar will give you an alto card or tenor card. So without a card, it's froggy drink. With alto, it's elixir. Um, tenor is mega elixir. Soprano card, which I'm going to get next, is the uh, care care cola. You can buy them now. If you do that. So third melody, you need to get the star from Monstro Town to sing it for me, and you have to play it by ear, um, which makes it really cool in my opinion that you have to actually figure it out by ear so you don't necessarily have to be musical to get it it helps but you don't have to be you can just kind of mess around and the other cool thing is that the little tadpoles stay up when you've gotten the pitches right I think it's a Kara Kara Cola. Let me check. Finally, my song is nearly complete, but I must confess, if you think of a final phrase that will wrap it all up, and then, at the very end, when you get done with this third melody, you get to, um, make some stuff up. And it's always going to end on do. So don't always end it on do. And what you get is this cool little thing here. everybody and then you can just keep making your own melodies and changing it and having fun if you wish so that is that is there anything else I'm forgetting oh there's like Yoshi's Island but that's you can get to Yoshi's Island and bet and uh, on Yoshi's and shit like that but find that somewhere else um, Oh! Oh, no, here's another thing I can show you. Wait, it's actually quicker to go this way. Um, there's a little random bed in Monstro Town. Where is it? This first door over here. Three musty fears. If you rest here, I'm not sure if you get revived or not. Um, but... These three little ghosts will come out. The only thing about this is you actually need to find Yoshi's Island in order to complete this quest. Um, where are the three musty fairs? Like three musketeers? <laughs> find the flag. And they'll give you hints. I can't remember what the prize is, though. They'll be back. So they go off to hide the flags and then give you clues. Behind a wooden flower. 
My flag's under a green bed. And his flag is between an O and an A. Don't forget what we told you. So the O and the A is on Yoshi's Island. There's a little goal, uh, goal part. It's where it is there. I always think there's a hidden treasure chest in there. So that's where the between the O and the A is if you unlock Yoshi's Island. The wooden flower... Is it here, I think? Yeah. There we go. So you kind of press A around it. So Booze is by Yoshi's Island. And beneath a green bed is actually back here. Green bed. So there you go. Those are where the flags are. Um, what else? This is gonna be a long ass epilogue. Is there anything else in Bowser's Keep? No, I don't think so. You can't do the doors again, I know that. Uh, I don't think. A barrel volcano just ends up being a grinding spot. Yeah, Seaside Town is pretty much done. Mary Moore. Moleville, I did the stuff there. Rose Town. There's like a, a mushroom chomping shop. I think that's in Seaside too. Let me at least show, show that. Ah, damn it. Oh, the pipe vault! You don't have to go to the pipe vault. The pipe vault is where you can find Yoshi's Island. Um, but we it's not required, apparently, which I didn't realize. Um, over in Seaside Town... I didn't realize until I played through this run. There's a dude, I believe he's in the middle house here. Yeah. He's like, oh! Mushrooms! So regular mushrooms, if you go back to um, Forest Maze, and you pick up these mushrooms around, and if you bring them back to him, he'll eat them, and sometimes they'll just be mushrooms, and sometimes they'll be special stuff. So if you want to kill time that way, you can do that. Uh, how many coins do I have? Let me show off one more thing, and then I'll end this. This is kind of just stuff I haven't, didn't really have the opportunity to show during the game. If you go to the inn here, I think. There's this kid back here. I need more coins. There's this kid back here playing what seems to be a Game Boy. Nope, wrong house. And if you bother him enough, there's like a mini game thing you can play. So. I'm gonna sell my weapons first. God damn it. <sighs> so, so this doesn't really sell for much. Ah, oh, hell, I'm not playing anymore. I still need to sell more, though. Because I think you need 500 or 400 coins. Either that or you need 999. I cannot remember. And this is shit. And this is shit. Can't even sell that for anything. There we go. Again, I'm not playing anything else, so there's no point in keeping all that stuff. Um, not fighting anything else, I should say. Because the Jinx battles are kind of repetitive. So, oh, it's 500 coins. Yeah. 
Now, this is one of those things, um, and then it pops up on your menu here. You can play Beetle. <laughs> and they say don't cheat with the Turbo Type controller, which, if you do have a Turbo controller, this game is actually significantly more fun. So, what? <laughs> I haven't played this game in years. So you kind of use the shells as a chain reaction. And his high score is 5,000. And if you play this long enough, uh, you will eventually get that because it gets so crowded. But if you, the more you get hit, the more... The idea to build up your score is to let more blocks... I mean, you can kind of strategically hit or you can just kind of fire randomly. Um, man, you can get stuck in this game for a long time trying to. I just realized those were shells. I always thought those were Pepsi symbols. See? And I will actually just play this out. Um, thank you very much to all my subscribers and everyone who has supported me over the past two and a half years, especially with this game. I know, I know for a fact that this was way the hell overdue for the ending, but I appreciate you sticking by me, um, waiting for it. I'm really sorry I can't show you the credits. I'll leave a, I'll leave something in the description where there's like a credits sequence. Um, see how you can rack shit up there pretty quick. So don't get hit just because you need to rack shit up. Oh, bummer. So thank you everybody for continuing to support my channel, support what I do. Um, if you've noticed, some of my videos um, have started to become monetized. Uh, not really a partner, it's just kind of like a pseudo partner thing. Um, I would really appreciate it if you uh, rate, favorite, comment, all that stuff. Um, I don't really know if that has any significance for people outside partners, but, um, you know, just get the word out there, man. Uh, you know, I'm not the best out there necessarily, but I think I do some good stuff and I'm at least mildly entertaining, I think. So, you know, spread the word, let people know. Um, that there's this weird chick who does video games who's from the Midwest and, uh, a little strange, but it's kind of cool. So, my next LP! You may or may not have already seen it. I have not recorded it yet, but I do know what it's going to be. And it's going to be super awesome and super embarrassing. And, um, let me put it this way. I have already played something similar to it on uh, my channel is an LP. Why the hell do you do that, computer? Why are you so mean, computer? Um, continue to enjoy my co-ops, really? My co-op stuff with Yanari7, Monkey Day Katana, uh, Treation, links to all those people in the, uh, subscription as well. And, yeah, it's... I love this game. This game is amazing, and I'm very happy to have been played it for the internet. And I'll just die here. So, there we go! That is Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars, the epic epilogue video. My name is Alec Being Smart. Stick, stay tuned for my next LP, or go ahead and check out one of my previous LPs. Peace out! <laughs>